Good morning, hello, and welcome to a new vlog from New York. I'm sorry about the poofy hair I just started, so it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop. But you guessed it by the title, I am in New York, baby. I actually arrived last night, so I'm gonna give you a quick run through of what we did last night. I didn't like vlog properly because I was just catching up with my friend and it was amazing. So, jumped off the flight from Miami. I have two Miami vlogs, so go and check those out, they're on my channel. And then we went to a place in the West Village called Anton's for pasta. It was sensational, like you have to go get the angel hair pasta it was so 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 good like nothing i've ever tasted it was just a really cozy spot so we had like wine and bread and it was just chef's kiss then we headed and went for a walk to get an insomnia cookie which was just amazing and then we woke up this morning we did a soul cycle and this is where it gets really exciting so we did a soul cycle this morning and it didn't vlog because i just kind of thought oh i'll vlog when i like start the day properly today and then we walked past lafayette cafe which i've been to for brunch before and like the brunch was fine very eggy but emily my friend who i was staying with was like oh my gosh we need to go into the bakery we went into the bakery i found the famous new york croissant oh my goodness if you know you know so i'm gonna pop on screen look at the supreme oh my goodness that's it look at that and, like we had the best morning soul cycle followed by the famous new york croissant then we also got their almond amaretto croissant it was just amazing and you have to go there so now we are showered and ready and fresh and the sun is shining in january in new york we are lucky girls and we are gonna go and explore the city together so let's go welcome to new york next coffee stop oh that's a pretty Oh my gosh, my favorite restaurant ever. We just went in Miami and this is the original. In. Let's get a Leon's bagel. Thank you. We finally got a Leon's bagels. I wanted to come to this place for so long. <gasps> Look, even the packaging is cute. Okay, you can do the honors. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so sexy. Yes, please. We need the half half shot. <gasps> Oh my gosh, are you for real? Like some sexy tomato in there. Yes. So we built our own cheddar, bacon, everything bagel. Let's eat. Boom. Boom. One of my absolute favorite streets in New York. And weirdly, they have a Venge on there. We have that in Chelsea, so that's kind of wild to me. Okay, so, I know we started the day with a supreme croissant, which was insane. Then the amaretto croissant, and now we just got a Leon's bagel. This is Emily. And how good was it? 10 on 10. And also, Emily took a bite out, out of the croissant, and she went, that was supreme. <laughs> like, it was so good. But usually, she was saying that there's like a huge line on a Sunday there, and we just walked right in. Right the in. universe was like, yes. So, Emily and I studied at McGill together. And Emily lives in New York and we're reunited and we're so happy. So yeah, we went to Leon's Bagels and now we are just having like a really nice amble to Central Park. We're going through West Village. Leon's Bagels, oh my God, it was so good. I mean, you, you just need to see it to believe it, but it was so yummy. I bring a Tacombi here. I came in Easter and this was definitely not here. Tacombi is like affordable kind of tacos. Like it's okay, like it's a good spot if you haven't been to New York before. Tacombi, Emily was saying that she thinks that one's been there for a while. So I must have just missed it when I came back in Easter. I would say like it's good for my margaritas and like dips and chips it's not like the best mexican but it's still better than most mexicans in london <laughs> to be honest so bleaker street is just like one of my favorite streets i always tell people to walk down here also this john's pizzeria is meant to be really good for pizza always but you like can't get a slice you can only get like a whole pizza i think no slices which is the only reason why i've never tried it before but people say it's amazing it's one of my favorite cookie places ever so definitely try this if you're in the area is the house from Sex and the City. That was the Chelsea Market meat park packing area. That was so quick. Oh, I love this area. The shopping is so nice here. So excited about this shop. How cool. Oh, amazing. I'm definitely going to get some of these. Perfect. Park, yeah, the original. It's so nice to sit in there in summer and just enjoy. Uh, Madison. Madison Square Park, yeah. 
It's a good one. Imagine I stayed here last time, the Langham Fifth Ave, the best service ever, and this is one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. It's a Michelin star, and it was so yummy. The Rockefeller, oh, lovely. So we really have just done like a full tour from like the West Village, up Fifth Avenue, and now we're at the Rockefeller. We're actually gonna go and get a Magnolia Bakery. What is it? It's like a famous banana, banana pudding. pudding. Banana pudding. I don't know how I've never had this. I have had the cupcake, but we're gonna get the banana pudding, seeing as we're on like a bit of a food crawl. And then we are gonna head to Central Park. We're working our way up the city. My stepsister got engaged here at Christmas. How sweet! So they basically closed the entire ring at the end of the session and then he got down on one knee and proposed. So Emily and I are practicing lucky girl syndrome and today so far like we've been lucky girls. There was no line but we went to get the supreme croissant and then the sun is shining. It was not meant to be shining. And then wait for this. We're just walking through Rockefeller Center and we get asked if we would like free tickets to go to the Jimmy Fallon show tonight. We're lucky girls. <laughs> Emily was like, I've been trying to get tickets for ages. Um, you're gonna like not be happy about this but we said no because we have better plans today. <laughs> Can you get better plans than Jimmy Fallon? I don't know, like, US followers, please comment. Like, did we just make a huge faux pas and should we have absolutely not, like, said no? But anyway, we said no. Someone else can be a lucky girl. We can, we've just given someone else the opportunity. So the karma's gonna come back to us, but the lady that asked us was so nice. And I was like, I can't believe we're turning this down. Actually out here, I've been to this one. This is actually the first Magnolia I ever went to. Magnolia Bakery, let's go and get the famous Dessert. I'm so excited. I have no idea what this even is. Gosh, look at these. Incredible. I actually really love the cupcakes. We got the goods. Do you want like a reveal? Do the honors, yeah. I love it. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it tastes like banoffee pie. Emily was like, I've not had that. So comment below if you are from the US or Canada. Does banoffee pie not exist? Like, is it not a thing? Never heard of Oh my it. god, banoffee pie is so good. And this tastes like banoffee pie. Do you like it? Love it. Yay, look at us doing all of these American <laughs> firsts together. Okay, we're just on Avda's America, so I think that's how you say it. Which is like my favorite street. I just think it's, and Bleecker Street, they're both my favorites. I just think this is such a cool, big street. Oh my god, how cool is that? I'm down 6th Avenue and you're like, I am the queen of the world. I'm running down the middle of 6th Avenue. I want to do a run while they close off all of New York. Like, I'd love to do the New York Marathon. I feel like it would be amazing. Yeah. So this one is like the last five kilometers of the marathon or something. How amazing. It's a great route. It starts at the UN. You go, um, like, past Bryant Park, like, down 6th Avenue through the park. Like, it's a really, really good route. It's Avra. I actually went in LA, in Beverly Hills. It's amazing. It's a Greek restaurant. Definitely go, but get a lunch menu because dinner's kind of expensive, but it's really great. Hotspot, guys. There's a place in here called Jams. It's inside one hotels, and they do a really, really great brunch and lunch. Skating time. How amazing. I love this rink. So Emily and I are just walking through Central Park and we're like, can you believe this is like the dead of winter? <laughs> Emily's Canadian and she's used to like the depths of winter. And this is like warm for it's us. so warm. Spring. Last time, yeah, this <laughs> is spring. Last time I came to New York in January though, it was like minus. It was so cold. And this is warmer than the UK right now. So we'll take care. We are lucky girls enjoying these blue skies. <laughs> Stunning. Stunning. It's stunning. I need to stop saying stunning, but it is. It's exquisite. The famous Bow Bridge. Look at that light. So pretty. Yes, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Woo. This is so cute. Yes. Yes. My Canadian ice skating queen. Get those dancing steps in. Smooth. That was quite smooth, actually. We are just out here living our best lives. Yeah! This ice ring is on in Central Park. I brought my brother here years ago. Like, it's just so nice. I would say calmer than the Rockefeller one. Like, we were just saying, we are so grateful. What a way to catch up. 
guys that was incredible ice skating in central park like it doesn't get much better we were just like we are living our dream right now the weather is perfect the ice rink was empty it was just amazing so definitely recommend doing that book your tickets online we literally stood on our phone and booked it on the hour every hour so we booked it at like half past three then went for a walk then went back on the rink and it's ten dollars to hire skates and yeah it was just a dream come true so we're now continuing our walk through central park which is amazing then we're gonna try getting to carbon tonight pray for us i'm manifesting it we have a table i went in miami it was sensational and they told us today that if we get there at 5 p.m sharp they might be able to have a table for us we got ice skating short for this so this kind of has to happen you know <laughs> better be worth like, it yeah well it will be we have the table so that is where we are stomping to now Let's go. We've got the angel hair pasta with breadcrumbs on top and the famous pasta rigatoni. Oh my goodness, look at this carrot cake. It's an actual work of art. Good morning from New York. Oh my goodness, last night was incredible. If you watched my Miami vlog, you'll know that I went to Carbon and we had the best time and it's so hard to get into Carbon. And somehow we got into Carbon. It was just amazing. Actually, all of the day was just amazing yesterday. Ice skating. I just feel like I'm so grateful out here living my dream. So it's actually rainy today. Um, so the hair is definitely not going to stay like this for long and I'm going to get changed because I just need to wear something chill, probably like a legging kind of day. I'm going to take myself on a solo day and then because Emily's working and then I'm going to take myself and do some shopping and lots of eating. Speaking of shopping, I often order from international sites and often if UK shoppers are shopping on international sites, they have to pay import duty and VAT on purchases over £135. Good news if you are someone who shops internationally online. There's a UK based company called Duty Refunds and they're about to change the game. They're basically on a mission to make international e-commerce feel local. I had no idea but it's basically your consumer right that you are eligible to reclaim import duty and VAT if you wanted to return your online shopping. And duty refunds basically make this really easy. You basically fill in an online form, it takes five minutes, then they do all all of the legwork. They take a 15% cut, but it's no win, no fee, and it's a 15% cut of the money that they are getting you back anyway. It's risk-free with a 4.8 rating on Trustpilot, and they work closely with couriers and HMRC to ensure everything goes smoothly. The claims are usually approved within four weeks, and the money just goes straight back to your bank account. I will leave a link below, but they're called Duty Refunds, and they are about to change the game if you are someone that is international shopping online. So, I'm actually gonna go and change my jumper, get myself ready for this rain, pop some leggings on. I'm actually gonna put my Uggs on, I'm feeling like a cozy day, and then head out. I'm gonna drop Emily at work, and then I have a solo day in New York City. It's a little bit rainy today. I've actually got my Ugg boots on for a drizzly day in the city, but honestly, there's nowhere I'd rather be than New York in the rain. I literally don't mind as long as I'm warm, and like I say, it's really not that cold. So I just dropped Emily off at work, water to fifth ab and now just walking through west village i'm gonna get myself a matcha to warm the hands i just want to take off like as many like cool spots as possible and then i'm going to take myself to an aussie spot that i found for brunch I'm trying really hard to not take myself to my favorite spots that i go to all the time so i really want to go to two hands which is one of my favorite brunch spots and i want to go to jack's wife freedom it. but i'm resisting the urge and i'm taking myself to completely different new spots so enjoy a drizzly walk through the beautiful streets of West Village. Okay, so I want to just get myself out of the rain, so I headed for some brunch at a place called Merriweather. It's like an Australian eatery. Honestly, I never kind of spot with Australian eateries in London. We have one called Brain Drink, where I go to all the time. And like, it was nice, but there was a lot of drilling, but it's not that fault. But like, I don't know, I think there's better places for brunch in New York, but with me being by myself, I want to go somewhere like super casual and low key, and it was definitely casual and low key. Okay, so now I'm going to watch Chelsea Market, just because it's raining quite hard, so go and get somewhere nice and dry, and then I'm going to get a bank, so I'm really trying to pace myself with the food today, because there's so much I want to try. I really, really love Cafe Kitsune. 
and there's one literally behind me. I go a lot in London, so I'm kind of like, I can't go. There's also a place opposite me called Don, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I'll film it. And loads of my friends recommended that I went there. It doesn't look like a good place for like a solo little dining. I'm gonna go and have a little look, but it's meant to be a really nice bar. I wonder if it's like a coffee shop by day. It looks to me like more of a restaurant and bar. It says martinis served to lay and I can't see a menu. But oh my goodness, this looks like such a nice spa. Should have taken myself for a solo little lunch in here instead. How gorgeous. Like they have a coffee machine, but it doesn't look like takeout coffee. Okay, this is one of my favorite restaurants ever. We recently went to the one in LA, but the one in New York is also amazing. It's like a really lovely healthy food. I'm just allowing the rain to hit me right now because I'm frizzy anyway. I'm just going to head to Starbucks Roastery because every time Max and I come to New York I get him a mug. So I'm going to get him a new one for his collection because he's gutted that he's not there. Then head to Chelsea Market. so much thank you and now it's chelsea market time at least i will be dry in there so they just have loads of great food stores in here this is manhattan's oldest chocolate house this spot for tacos it's really good and the korean spot is also very very good in here mock bar this is a really really good spot i've had ramen there before and also lost tacos This is such a gorgeous store for gifts. They have so many nice things. I'm gonna buy Matt a Valentine's card while I'm here. I love this one. Or this one. Emily and I lived in some, so getting her this. And then got this one for Matt for Valentine's. This is another favorite store of mine in Chelsea Market. I bought so many gifts from here over the years I just think it's such a good store this is the first ever anthropology store I came into years ago and I just think it's the most beautifully laid out store so I had to pop back in it's even nicer than the ones in the UK it smells so great as well I love this new range, how lovely, I have not seen this colorway before. I really want this for like a Galentine's. Okay, so the rain has stopped slightly. It's getting quite cold now, maybe I spoiled you soon when I said it wasn't that cold. Went into Chelsea Market, amazing. I always forget how great it is in there. Would recommend Lost Tacos in there. And then there's a really great Korean place next to it that's also really good. As I am solo dining today and on a bit of an impromptu bagel crawl, I decided to go to Black Seed Bagels because it's been on my list for ages. I would say Leon's Bagels yesterday was actually better, but Black Seed was really nice. Like, really enjoyed it. It was actually smaller, which was good because I ate the entire thing. And I was planning on just having half of it. So now I'm going to go and walk up Midtown get a, to get a cookie. Yes, this is dedication in the cold weather, but I've seen a cookie that I haven't tried in New York called like Schmuckers or something. I don't know, it has a cute name. So I'm gonna go and try that. And then I think I might just go and see where the day takes me after that. So to the cookie shop we go. 
Oh my gosh, I tried to get on a class here, but they were fully booked up. Still on that cookie walk. I don't know if that's a Peloton head office. It looks more like a head office than a studio. But basically, I tried to book on, but I was so last minute with this trip that I couldn't. But I just walked past Peloton, and I do like live sessions again. Oh, this is a nice cafe in common, it's called. Good match as well. Yeah, and basically I couldn't get on because they were all fully booked up. But if you are someone that has a Peloton, or I don't think you even need to have a Peloton, I think you just pay, even as someone with a Peloton, you pay. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go to the class with the instructors. But anyway, it was not meant to be this trip. Next trip. I got the goods, it's still raining outside. I got myself a fun fetti. I started this vlog with such good intentions as the hair. The good news is this is the only rainy day. And honestly, I just ate a delicious one fatty cooking. So how could you be mad about that? So I am just walking over to Hudson Yards. Mum and I actually came here on like a family trip just as Hudson Yards was like almost finished and every time I come back like even when I came back in Easter I was like oh my gosh it's so nice so I'm actually gonna pop in there to try get into Dylan's candy store I just love it and the one in Miami was closed it shut down so I just want to get some candy sorry I know this is a sugar fueled day but this is clearly what I do when I'm by myself so heading over to Hudson's Yards now also, it will be a nice little break from the rain. It's meant to rain all the way through tonight. The sky's gonna have a little cry. And then, tomorrow, everything will be fine and the sun will be out again. So, let's stop Hudson's Yards, which is basically kind of back over near Chelsea Market Way. So Emily, my friend that I'm staying with, actually introduced me to Aritzia in Montreal and now they have it in New York. I love everything in here, like I wish we had the store in the UK. They also have a Magnolia Bakery in Hudson Yard, so you can go and get the banana pudding from here. Okay, Dylan's candy bar, so excited. The Miami one closed down and I'm so happy that this one is open because I love Pick a Mix and this is owned by Ralph Do Lauren's daughter. Milk chocolate sandwich cookies sound amazing. Oh my gosh, they sell s'mores in here. I feel like I need to buy these to take back from my mum. I love this place so much. I'm so happy I got Dylan. So ordinarily on vlogs I would take you on the High Line, which I've kind of got now, which is like a beautiful route that runs through quite a lot of New York actually. You can just see beautiful views, but the weather is not that today. I'm just kind of walking down from the High Line now. After coming out of Hudson's Yards, I love it in there. Great shots. Although I'm being blown away. Now I'm heading back to West Village. And we're in this really nice pharmacy and do a little bit of beauty shopping. I lied. My map brought me back up onto the High Line. And actually, as much as it's windy, like, it's still really nice up here. I'm kind of just grinning to myself. Like, now the hair's up and I have the umbrella. This is the ergonomic umbrella that my mum bought me for Christmas because she said, Umbrellas always break on me and this one shouldn't. I'm so out of breath. I didn't spend any steps today, that's so good, but I'm just loving it. Usually there's so many people on here and I literally have the High Line pretty much to myself. So you can kind of see all of the New York streets beneath you as you're walking. And I just think like it's so cool. It's kind of like a green way to see the city. There's art installations up here. And even in the rain, I have to say, I'm enjoying this. I guess it's like a big bridge that goes all the way over loads of different parts of New York and I'm loving it, I'm having a great day. So over to Greenwich we go. So I'm basically just heading back over to West Village which is actually where I started this morning because I've seen that there's a cute little pharmacy over there that I want to check out and then I'm gonna go and like dry off before picking Emily up for, from work. I'm heading here because a friend of mine told me that it's like the oldest pharmacy, so it's meant to be amazing. So I'm gonna go do some beauty shopping. Thank you. Yeah. 
This house only called Brands in here. I love Julia, it has a gun, one of the best brands. Some gorgeous fragrances. I feel like if you need anything in New York, they sell everything in here. And at Credit Palmer as well. These are just so pretty. This one. Yeah. Oh, and my boyfriend loves palms. I'm of three sisters, so it is oh, a little extra inspiring, special, yeah. I'm like, don't know if I can necessarily run a business with my sister. The body sound the body what just sounds amazing, the coconut oh, yeah, vanilla. Great. How lovely. Amazing. This is apparently a perfume that Molly May uses, so naturally, I now love this perfume. It's called Delina, and it's Perfumes de Molly. I just got back from a very successful solo day. I got this for my bestie Emily, another Emily. There's so many Emilys in my life, like three of my best friends are called Emily, because we love dim sum. I got this for Matt. I got this for my mum. I got these to share with Emily when she gets out of work. I also got her a cookie. I got Matt a Starbucks roastery mug. Oh, it's all wrapped up, but it's a cute one. And then, oh my gosh, this store was insane. It's the oldest, I can't say the word, apothecary, basically pharmacy in the US. This smells insane. I've always wanted to try it. And then the way I bought myself this, I listened to a podcast about it. I've been using the kind of wipes that I got from Space NK. And I'm so excited because apparently this is amazing with lactic acid and vitamin C. Then I bought myself a dry shampoo. I really like this brand. I got this for Matt because it's meant to be amazing. Apparently, the guy who invented the light bulb used to use their balm on his sore hands. I mean, that's incredible. You guys know I love an eight hour cream by Elizabeth Arden, so we'll see how this one is. And then Bumble, because I somehow on my travels have lost my hairspray, like my heat protectants, I got that. So a very, very successful solo shopping day. I should not be left by myself. I picked up lots of goodies. Good evening, I picked her up, she's here. <laughs> I say I picked her up, I absolutely did not go and actually physically pick her up. I was editing this very video actually. We are heading to dinner. Emily's had a productive work day. I've had a productive solo day. Gave her the cookie and the candy. And now it's raining again, so did not bother even trying to fix the hair. And we are actually heading to a spot that Gigi had went to recently. What's it called? Bar Pity. Bar Pity. Oh, I was actually speaking to them in the pharmacy about it, and they said it's really good, so I'm excited. They were saying something about the owner actually built it in like lockdown as like meant to be an extension of his kitchen. Oh. And that's why it's a thing. So excited to get there. We actually have some friends there who managed to get us a table outside because it's like walk-in only and it's also cash only, which is not a thing in London anymore. But a lot of like cool places in New York are cash only. So having to meet some friends. And drinks time. Good afternoon, it's a sunny day in the city. Started today with good intentions. Went to my Soul Cycle class, just trying not to get run over with this crazy traffic. But totally started the day with the best foundation, Soul Cycle, matcha, lovely walk, and sunshine. I'm so sorry if the editing was weird yesterday, but basically, my camera was so waterlogged that a lot of the sound did not come out properly. So sorry about that, that is how crazy the weather was and then today it's perfect, so a nice reminder that life gets better and sunshine follows the rain. So I'm actually heading for lunch now with my friend who I met in Montreal and he moved to New York so we're heading to a hot spot. He was like, where do you want to go? I was like, I want to go somewhere hyped, somewhere that's a hot spot, so heading there now. Time. Yummy. Lunch was amazing. I'm gonna pop a picture up on screen of myself and my friend. We met at McGill in Montreal and I just feel so lucky that I have friends all over the world. How incredible. So the spot was great. My friend recommended it. They apparently do a really great brunch as well. So I kind of need to go back for brunch because this was a lunch menu. Now I'm just gonna do a bit of shopping. I'm actually gonna film a come shopping with me in New York video, like as a separate video, but I'm gonna go do some shopping. I paced myself and got oysters. 
So now I'm gonna head on my impromptu bagel crawl because I really wanna try Murray's bagel. So that is my next stop. Max Brenner so much. I love going here after dinner for chocolate. Famous for their hot chocolate. It's just so great. They do great chocolate fondue. Cafe, but they also sell chocolate and fondue sets. Max Brenner fondue set. That is so tempting. Oh my goodness, they do Max Brenner hazelnut spread. I did not know that was a thing. This is for my boyfriend because you put a chocolate in it and you melt it. But I had to order him on Amazon and it costs so much money. with the bagel rankings I still think Leon was number one I think the actual physical bagel yesterday at Black Seed was really really good today I went to Murray's bagels and honestly like it was great apparently there's usually lines but I went midday so there was no one there if you're someone that really likes chicken you would love it Matt would have absolutely loved it but I ended up taking the chicken out because it's too chickeny my fault. I wish I could just build my own. That would have been so much better. I love at the end that you can build your own. I think you probably can build your own at Murray's. But I was scared. I felt rushed. So I think Leon still takes the top spot for me. I'm now walking towards Flatiron and Macy's. I don't really like Macy's, but I want to put it in my shopping with me video. Great list of like Calvin Klein or Levi's. I remember years ago when the exchange rate was really good. I was so excited to go in there. I think up Fifth Ave. I am building, unfortunately it's covered up with scaffolding, but usually it's like actually really pretty to take pictures outside here. Okay, my friend Emily is so obsessed with this place. She tries to get me to go to London all the time. She's like, it's the best place ever. I used to be so obsessed with this Cha Cha Matcha. Another place I used to be obsessed with that these are famous so I feel like I need to try some. Okay, my friends were saying that they used to obsess with the birthday cake truffles. Mm. It's like cookie dough. It's so good. I'm filming for YouTube. You even gave me a hot chocolate in here. Thank you. Just walking past the New York Public Library. Today is a nice little shopping day. The bagel was great, but like I said, Leon's was still better. Popped into Macy's, and I need to stop being mean about Macy's because it's actually really nice. I'm not mean about them, I just prefer Bloomingdale's and Saks. But honestly, like, it was much better. It's definitely like a jumble style the last time I came. I don't know what's changed, but it was much nicer. So I'm just back walking up Fifth Avenue, saw past the public library. Going past Bryant Park, I really wanted to skate there yesterday, but it was raining. And I don't want to skate there today by myself, so I might try drag my friends do that with me at the weekend but I'm just heading to Saks now and then I'm gonna treat myself to a cookie as well. In all its glory right by the Rockefeller here it is Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay, so after a day of shopping across New York, which has actually been really fun, like I said, been a completely separate vlog on that, but you did see some sneak peeks today. It was really nice. Sax is definitely my favourite. And my US friend was like, yeah, maybe you stay up today. Sax is really nice. Blooming Girls, she called it Bloomies. She was like, Bloomies is cute. Um, she actually said Nordstrom and Neva Marks are her favourite. I should probably try to go to Nordstrom on this trip, but I wasn't there today. Hi then, I popped in to treat myself to a Levan cookie. This was a great solo day today. I so I've had the best day. Great shopping, met great people, and now we're about to eat the double chocolate chip cookie. I was like, which is the best? And he was like, the double chocolate chip is having a moment right now. So I'm gonna enjoy that to myself. <laughs> I have to pop into this viral build your own charcuterie board spot. I brought back all the goodies. Cake truffles, Levan cookies, bagels, and this. Yes, please do. How exciting. This is pre-dinner dinner.
Cheers. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> morning so i still have a few days left in new york but this vlog is getting so long so i was like okay i'm gonna end it here and then start another vlog so it means you get extra vlogs if you made it this far comment below and write chocolate mousse in the comments reason being last night emily and i went to a place called bouvet now i know i said i'm not going to the same place twice but in my defense i've only been to bouvet for brunch and we went last night because we just wanted like a cozy west village girly night we had wine we had chocolate mousse. We actually got two rounds of the chocolate mousse because it was so good. This trip has just been constant giggles, girl time. I've had some nice solo time and the sun is out today. So I'm heading over to Brooklyn. I'm also going to continue the bagel crawl. Everything will be saved on a highlight on Instagram called NYC2. And also come say hi on Instagram anyway because I would love to have you. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you. I am so grateful for you. It means so much. I'm just hydrating because I did a soul cycle this morning on my soul cycle hype. So just hydrating the skin. And yeah, love you guys lots. Thanks for being part of the family and watching. And I will see you on the next vlog. Mwah.